All right, today I would like to invite you to join me in the office. Uh, often I'm asked, Wendy, what is it that you do in the office? What do you say? How does it go when you have patients and you're trying to introduce them to the doctor and the handoff or the hygiene assistant? And I thought, you know, the easiest way to tell you is probably just to have you join me for a day. So today we're going to go behind the scenes, let you see us in action, hear some of what we're saying, and uh, hopefully it'll be a great ride. So that's all we need as far as the pictures go. So yeah, just so you know, when the doctor comes in, he's going to talk about any treatment that you need in mandatory elective or cosmetic okay. cate categories. Mandatory is anything that's broken, infected, or has a cavity. Elective is anything that um, by taking care of it now, we can probably save you, you yeah. know, a future problem. And then cosmetic is, of course, anything that could cosmetically enhance your teeth. Now, you mentioned you had braces, yes. and they've kind of shifted back. Mm -hmm. Does that bother you? Sometimes, yeah. Is that something you might like to talk about a solution yeah. for? Okay, we have um, a great new option called the Misalign. You ever yeah, heard of that? I have. Kind of clear braces, yeah. clear, they call them clear aligners, yeah. and you just wear them at night. And they are such a great option for relapse, is what we call it, when you've had braces before, yeah. but your teeth kind of shift back and kind of move. So the reason Invisalign is such a great option for, for relapse cases is because it's usually fairly quick, yeah, like sometimes really. even 8 to 12 months. Yeah. and they're right back where they were when you got braces off. So we can just check if you'd like, we can talk to the doctor and see if you're a good candidate for that. Yeah, that'd be Okay, good. great, so we will definitely do all of that and we'll talk about all those options when the doctor comes in. Perfect. All right. Good. All right, I'm gonna get my camera out really quick, okay? And we'll take just some photos, just so you can kind of, we'll give you a tour of your own mouth. Ooh, I can pass. Yes, <laughs> just so that you can see kind of what we see. Yeah. And then um, I'll show you kind of what I was talking about with those dark areas on the wisdom teeth. All right, so we're going to just give you a tour. Go ahead and tip your chin. Just perfect, right there. And what I'll do is when I see something I want you to look at, I'll freeze it okay. on the screen so you can see. Okay, right here. Can you see this one? That is actually your wisdom tooth. Oh, yeah. Clear in the back. And can you see how dark and discolored that is right there? Mm -hmm. Chances are that's, you know, where the bacteria is taken out. over yeah. and we've already got a cavity there. So. That's where we get into kind of the suspicious areas there that we're talking about. Let's see this little area of dark, yes. discolored area. One That's of the not problems. The silver stuff underneath. No. <laughs> One of the problems with silver fillings is that they leak. Okay. And so you can get bacteria and, and um, you know, bad stuff here around the edges, and then it'll leak and it'll cause a cavity underneath that old silver filling. So mm -hmm. that's one reason that. We check the silver fillings really carefully. And that's also another reason that sometimes we talk about replacing those with a, a better material as an elective option for you. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our patients want to know, okay, what are my most urgent needs? We call those needs mandatory. Mm -hmm. And then we also talk about elective options, which are things basically that are up to you. It's something mm -hmm. that could potentially save you time and money down the road if we take care of it now. Mm -hmm. um, but we'd like to just let you know all of those options, and okay. then of course you can let us know what, what you're interested in doing and where you want to start and all that. So that's probably going to be on there. Um, you know, some of these older fillings that don't have an obvious problem will most likely show up on your treatment as an elective option. Okay. All right. So, you know, if I could share with you anything about the experience today. It's probably that teamwork really is absolutely necessary. I don't know if you noticed, but from time to time there was somebody else stepping in helping with the probing depths or the x-rays, even the impressions, you know, above and beyond my assistant. But with that level of teamwork, uh, with two hygienists and one assistant, we were able to produce more than $3,000 today in hygiene in one single solitary day. So the beautiful thing is um, when you work hard enough on the systems and you develop the systems, ultimately down the road you can just plug the right people in. And so I know it seems challenging uh, revising what you're doing if you're if you're switching to a different model of hygiene. Hang in there because I think it's it's definitely worth it and hopefully you're able to get again a behind the scenes look at the day in the life of an assisted hygienist um, you know who's actually helping a lot more patients get the treatment they deserve and that they want um, than just the typical eight patients a day. So hopefully it was helpful and uh, again just keep working hard and good things will happen.